As the gold in the furnace, the Lord put his chosen to the test. As sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. And in due time, they will be honored. And grace and peace will be uh, with the elect of God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Today is the memorial of Charles Luanga and his 21 companions, martyrs, between November 15, 1885 to January 27. Uh, 1888. So many markers um, in Africa, of course, in Sudan. <clears throat> we are reminded in the light of today's uh, readings to prepare ourselves for the Pentecost the day after tomorrow with immersion in repentance immersion in Jesus the mystery of Jesus as our preparation to immersion in the gifts of the spirit Let's, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength of mercy and forgiveness for our failures or for our ways where, when we have been lucky perhaps to immerse ourselves in repentance in the mystery of Christ and in order to be open to immersion in the gifts of the Spirit. All in all for us to be God's missionary disciples. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God, the Father, to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, 
mercifully grant that the field which is your church watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Luanga and his companions may be fertile and always yield you an ab abundant harvest to our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Agrippa and Bernice arrived in Caesarea on a visit to Festus. Since they spent several days there, Festus referred Paul's case to the king, saying, There is a man, there is a man here left in custody by Felix. When I was in Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews brought charges against him and demanded his condemnation. I answered them that it was not Roman practice to hand over an accused person before he has faced his accusers and had the opportunity to defend himself against their charges. So when they came together here, I made no delay. The next day, I took my seat in the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought in. His accusers stood around him but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. Instead, they had some issues with him about their religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. Since I was at a loss how to investigate this controversy, I asked if he were willing to go to Jerusalem and there stand trial on these charges. And when Paul appealed that he be held in custody for the emperor's decision, I ordered him held until I could send him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has established his throne in heaven. For us, heaven us are high above the earth so surpassing in his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he put our transgression from us. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over the earth, over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty, mighty in strength, who do his bidding.
The Holy Spirit will teach you everything. It remind you of what I told you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had returned to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than thee? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, <clears throat> Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, <clears throat> Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, Do you love me? Peter was distressed, that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not, you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Can you imagine yourself, and that's me included, knowing, uh, knowing of a dead man, rising from the dead, and then afterwards, we've heard about him, what he said, what he did, but he never taught you anything in terms of direct experience. And then you and I proclaiming at the cost of great trials and persecution in this, proclaiming that he rose from the dead. Can you imagine yourself proclaiming this person? But 
what would be your answer? What will be each one's answer? And this is St. Paul. <clears throat> yeah, he met Christ in some kind of mystical experience. <clears throat> but unlike the, the apostles who were taught for three years, he did not have the chance of any form of faith formation or seminar or faith conferences or individual conference or group activities. Same for with Jesus. Never had a chance like the rest of the apostles. And yet, in his first journey, in the second journey, the third journey, now in his fi final journey, is brought to trial for, pro for proclaiming the resurrection of Jesus all the way to the ends of the world. Rome, the center of the empire. And yet, in all these persecutions and trials and so on, how the, the gospel, how God uses him to spread, to, to spread the good news. I say that because the mission to proclaim Jesus belongs to you and to me. To every baptized person in words and in deeds. I've said it many, many times. We are now 1.3 billion Catholics what do you think will happen if every one of those 1.3 billion Catholics are just cut into half? But just leave it that way, or simple to have no confusion in our mind. Can you imagine every one of those proclaiming Jesus, his words and his deeds? But it's not just a question of, can you imagine? Can you see yourself? Can we see ourselves? Why is that an important question? Because the meaning of immersion in the mystery of Jesus is that having immersed, I will bring him to the ends of the earth. Now you may say, oh, Father, that's too much, to the ends of the earth. Okay. Um, you stay in your, in your, what we call, what you have been hearing, church in the home, the domestic church, the forgotten church, which is, which has, which has been existing for the last 2,000 years. It's not something new. It's not a question of who founded the church. Is that like a happy church? Is that a new church? No. The domestic church is the basis, the foundation, why we have this, what we call the church in terms of family, families, parish, diocese, family of parishes, and of course universal church, family of local churches. But anyway, why do we ask this question? Because that's today's read, uh, first reading. The last. We are towards the last of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 25. There are 28 chapters as we are closing to 
the day after tomorrow is the Pentecost, we are also finishing the Acts of the Apostles. As we are in the Gospel of John, chapter 21, the last chapter. So we are very, very close to Pentecost. Now, how do we prepare for this? Three things. Immersion in repentance. Immersion, and this is ongoing. So it's just a good, oh, Father, I'm already immersed. Of what? You mean you eat only once or we eat every, every day? Uh, so, immersion in repentance, ongoing. Immersion in the mystery of Jesus, continuing, ongoing. Up to when? Till death do us part. Immersion in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, continuing. Meaning we continue opening, opening, opening ourselves with repentance and deepening ourselves in the mystery of Jesus. You notice I didn't, I used the word immersion. Because when I say baptism of repentance, baptism in Jesus, baptism of the Holy Spirit, we just get confused. But the meaning of baptism is immersion. I was talking really to you about baptism or immersion. I think we can understand more the word immersion. We are immersed. So, one of the great preparations for Pentecost, for the gifts of the Spirit, for your heart and my heart and each one's heart to be like the sacred heart of God, of Jesus, so that we will have His mercy, so we will have and we will have his forgiveness. In other words, we will have the divine will, which many times we have hard, perhaps difficulties in understanding. That's the divine love. That's the divine mercy. That's the divine forgiveness. Love and mercy and forgiveness. So that again, with that expression, you and I can approximate that love without condition and mercy without limits and forgiveness without end, which is really more and more deep into the divine will. Can we imagine that this is St. Paul and this is Charles Luwanga and 21 companions and the living saints of today. Not just those saints who are gone. And yet, this is everyone's mission to be a missionary. Not to Africa, not to Europe, not even to the United States or Southeast Asia. In the home. Can you imagine every family? We have the parents, the mother, and the father as catechists and evangelizers. Can you imagine that those children growing up will also catechize and evangelize the parents? We say, wow, what a family of God. And then you say, oh, father, it's very, very difficult to have this Catechesis, the family, evangelization, and the family of worshiping, family of witnessing, family or serving, is very, very difficult. Okay, meaning very difficult to the members. But can you imagine that if we didn't have the members with us open to this mission, God's mission, shared to us, can you imagine that there is one mission or one person left that you have to be a missionary. In other words, you cannot say, oh, the members of the family, 
we are not open, we cannot do it, it's impossible, we have different schedule, different time, and so on, we are working. And then, be a missionary to yourself. When we don't have to go to the Europe or Africa or Southeast Asia or anywhere here in the United States, or even to the members of the family where that should be happening, you and I can be a catechist and evangelizer to oneself. How long is that? Till they do us part. Then what? Then you and I will be immersed and immersed into what Mama Mary, Our Lady of Fatima says, deep into prayer, deep into atonement and reparation, not just for oneself, but reparation for the sins of humankind and deep into the conversion of oneself and hopefully with our prayers, the conversion of everyone on the face of the earth or if not everyone, most or many. Today's readings talks about, especially the gospel, love. That's the divine will. Love and mercy and forgiveness. The three are interrelated into the divine will. So that the human will, yours and mine, will be radically transformed and will have a transfusion of God's love and God's mercy and God's forgiveness. And then we will be like the sacred heart of Jesus today's first Friday. And then we will be like the immaculate heart of Mary tomorrow's first Saturday. And then we are open to, or you are set on fire for the gifts of the Spirit. To renew with God and in God and through God the face of the earth or the face of the family or within my own self. This is mission. That's why we are called missionary disciples. Otherwise, all these things, no matter how we give faith formation, no matter how we give homilies or whatever conferences or counseling, this will just be words, 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 words. You know what happens? Words fly. You've heard that. Verba bulan, words fly, but deeds remain. Facta manent. Very, very important. So the mission, yes, works. But above all, deeds. If we don't have the rest of the family, you can be a missionary to yourself. That's a tall order. Because the transformation of the world on earth as it is in heaven starts with oneself. Please rise. We continue to pray for the holiness of everyone in the church, all those engaging in all forms of ministries and all levels of being church, the home, the parish, the diocese of local church, the universal church, in each one we will be more and more holy in the holiness of God and truly be one filled to set on fire by the Spirit to be on a mission to heal the world for the salvation of the world. For this we pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for peace in the world, for peace that comes from the Lord. For this we pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for those who continue to suffer and with their pains, with their all kinds of afflictions in terms of violence and conflicts. 
that all the trials and difficulties and sufferings will never be apart from the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for the faithful departed, for those in most need of God's mercy. For them all, we pray to the Lord. We raise to God all our intentions in this holy sacrifice of the Mass. For this we pray to the Lord. And we pray for Pamilia or Pamilia Sulis Ramirez for this intention, for this we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, these are our prayers. Help us in our spiritual journey, the greatest and the lasting and the everlasting journey that one could ever make. And help us bring us to immersion in repentance, immersion in the mystery of your Son, as you are one with the Spirit, that we become more and more open to the gifts of the Spirit, so that we, become, we will be, each one will be set on fire to renew the face of the earth, because that is what it takes and what it means to be when we say to you, I am a Christian. For this, Heavenly Father, we ask through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God. For three years we have received <clears throat> the bread we offer you through to the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Put to you, goodness, we have received. The wine we offer you through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spirit. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> we offer you um, sacrifice we offer you sacrifice O Lord humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone through christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you <clears throat> lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly white and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders 
of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant them resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of <clears throat> heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of God. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, <clears throat> he himself took bread. And giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Titus, follow you and eat out, for this is my body, which will be given for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he said a blessing <clears throat> and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Thanks, all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood, the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Save us, <clears throat> Savior of the world. <clears throat> and therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death, you will to reconcile us to yourself. 
grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, <clears throat> with St. Joseph, her blessed spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Charles Luanga and 21 companion martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. <clears throat> May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Myron, and our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your, compa in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom do we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the fate of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We give to each one God's sign of peace. On your day, he told me to speak upon thee. May seven and no be.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
I am the true vine, and you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him bears fruit in plenty. Let us pray. <clears throat> Made new by the sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, that imitating the wondrous constancy of Saint Charles Luong and the 21 companion martyrs, we may merit an eternal reward for, su for suffering endured through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. <clears throat> and may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down in you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ and be one in His Spirit. Hail Mary. Oh Lord. The Lord is blessed and blessed and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, our dedication, dependence on us, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 